Good evening world! Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 95 on our round the world trip. Ah! <laughs> and today it's a special episode because we're talking about the money. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin! Yes, today we are going to be breaking down everything we've spent over the last three months during the trip all the way from London to where we are right now at the <laughs> Blaise Diagna International Airport in Dakar. <laughs> Yesterday we successfully dropped off Bumblebee at the container port, put her in a container ready to be shipped to Brazil. And now we're waiting here for our flight tonight. So it's a super exciting day. <laughs> but let's get into the details because this video is about how much we have spent. We're just gonna be reading this info from the phone, so don't mind us if we're looking down here. So, the total amount that we have spent since leaving London is 8,942 euro. <laughs> By the way, this is all gonna be in euro because that's how we've been logging it all in, but we will include the information with a pounds conversion in the video description. So 8,942 euro, that is an average per day of 94 euro. It sounds like a lot. Because it is a lot. <laughs> but half of this is actually the transport cost. Yes, so the total transport costs for the trip so far, now that includes the ferry from England to France, the ferry from Spain to Morocco, and the container ship from Senegal to Brazil, and the flights out for us from Senegal. So that's quite a lot of stuff. And that total cost was 4,671 euro. So well over half of the total expenditure of the trip so far. On top of that, we had insurance costs to pay, totaling 806 euro. So that includes Lavi's health insurance, which is valid for a year, and all the motorbike insurance policies that we paid so far during the trip. So that leaves a daily expenses total for the whole trip so far of 3,009 euro. That is an average per day of 31 euro and 60 cents, which is actually not that bad going for our day-to-day -day expenses. It's not that bad, especially because we are two people and spend together 30 euro is actually pretty good. But I will break that down further. So we're going to break that down into four categories. We have groceries, eating out, fuel and accommodation. This is how we've been logging it all in our expense reports as we've been going along. So let's start with groceries. The total amount we have spent on groceries so far is 458 euro which is an average per day of 4 euro 80. Eating out everything that we didn't get from uh, the grocery store, basically. 425 euro. That's an average per day of 4 euro 50. The next category is fuel. And for that, it has been a total of 799 euro, which is an average per day of 8 euro 40, which is way less than I was expecting. If you had asked me how much it was going to cost to drive from London to Dakar, I would have said mm, a couple of thousand, but no, just less than 800 euro for all the fuel so far. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And Mauritania was actually the cheapest country. So it was, I think, one euro per liter, yeah. something like yeah. that. So something it was, like that. it was pretty cheap there. Yeah, it got gradually cheaper as we were getting away from Europe. Yes. Um, so it was great. We were filling up whole tanks of fuel for like 15 euro. It's beautiful. And now the most expensive part of our daily expenses, the accommodation. Now we tried to wild camp as much as we possibly could and take campsites, but at some points because of the editing and because sometimes we were just super tired, we had to take rooms. The total accommodation expenditure for the trip so far is 1,327 euro, which is an average of 
13 euro 90 per day. Yeah, I didn't really expect that the room prices in general are so high because we were traveling in Asia for quite a while and there you can get very cheap rooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was quite surprising when we yes. were in Nuakshot and Nuevibu and we found out that accommodation there is like 20, 30 euros a night, like similar to how it was in Spain and in France. So that was super surprising considering that the fuel had almost halved, yeah. the accommodation didn't do the same, unfortunately. Yeah. On top of that, we spent 429 euro for extras, which included sightseeing, border fees, visas, a new sleeping mat for me, <laughs> SIM cards, data top-ups, and a couple of souvenirs. <laughs> 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 it's a very pretty head all here. So this is our breakdown of what we have spent so far. Let's hope that the transport cost will be a little bit lower for the rest of the journey. Yeah. Otherwise, we might not make it around the world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I hope it's been useful information for you guys um, when you're planning your own trips, just to see what the breakdown is, how much we're spending on each thing. And you can see that when you want to move the bike across the sea or the ocean, this is by far the most expensive thing that you have to do with more than 50 or 60 percent of our total budget being spent on that so far so be warned so that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comments below we will see you next time in rio